week, Jeff Sessions came to Philadelphia. Oh. Bringing his message of hate, bigotry, and xenophobia, even as he himself faced down the illegal charges that made him, him himself a culprit and potentially a co-conspirator in the illegal activities that he seeks to scapegoat on others. And Philadelphia met that message by shutting it down. Yeah. Philadelphia is a proud sanctuary city. It was established by the immigrant communities who stood up and stood out for a city that has reversed five decades of population decline through our immigrants who are revitalizing our economic corridors, repopulating our public schools, bringing culture, life, vitality, and energy to our neighborhoods. And I'll be damned as an elected official if I will stand by and watch these attacks on immigrants continue without any response, not on our watch. This is real simple. When it comes to SB4, we've got House Bill 28 in Philadelphia and Pennsylvania. These things are not unique. They call back to the darkest days of our times and of our struggles for civil and human rights. And when we do that, we meet that with another calling back to those times when we remind ourselves that an unjust law is no law at all. When we tell ourselves that we have a moral responsibility to disobey unjust laws in this country. officials and our municipal officials who are so close to the ground, who come out of immigrant communities, like I myself, who came out of an immigrant community, fighting for its basic right just for survival, for visibility and voice, and we are not going to stay silent now. No. So we're here united across the country to meet this moment without fear, with courage, and united in this bill to save 